everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I got it like that, I always have my own bag Never needed no man to rely on Got two good shoulders to cry Hey my baddies Welcome back to my channel, you guys. We have another episode of Cooking Quick Meals, Keto Edition. This time we're going to be making a taco keto casserole. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell because there's no need to wait, guys. And guys, don't forget to like it, like it, like it. Don't forget to like it, like it, y'all. Like and share this video with everybody. As you can see, we jump right on into it. This is an exciting recipe for me. I'm super excited to try it out. I've been watching all these different TikTok videos on uh, easy keto recipes. So I've been seeing some recipes that I would like to try out with you guys and show you guys how I'm over here eating and just, you know, kind of keep you guys in the loop and keep you guys on track with me on this weight loss journey hopefully from a year from now you girls stick to it i want to lose at least 100 pounds within this next year i really 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 want to do it because i know it will um help out with my infertility issues and my health issues and stuff um, with my PCOS, so I'm back taking my medications as well. So I'm just super excited to try these new keto recipes out. First, we're going to start off by adding a little olive oil to the pan, which I did already off camera, and saute up them onions and bell peppers. You know your girl loves her onions and bell peppers. We're going to cook that with everything. If you're not cooking with onion and bell peppers, then you're not cooking. You feel me? So we're going to get them sauteed up real, real nice and um, easy. And I already put my um, cauliflower rice into the microwave and steamed it um, up so that I can go ahead and drain it and pour it into the pan. Now, I'm doing all this while I get a little quick simmer on the vegetables. As you guys know, I like to cook my vegetables before the meat to get them soft first. I went ahead and um, strained the cauliflower within a strainer to get all the water and moisture out of it. And then try to evenly layer it across this pan like this. So this is a little cake pan, so it's not as deep as like a lasagna pan. So the serving um, sizes that I'm making is going to be a little smaller because I am just cooking for myself. What I'm doing here is just adding a little seasoning over my cauliflower rice. The thing about cauliflower rice, you can put seasonings on it and it's pretty much going to taste however you want it to taste. So I, what I'm doing here is making room for my ground beef so I can go ahead and start seasoning that up as well. And I'm only using, I'm not even using a full half a pound of ground beef. There was still a small chunk right here that was still frozen. So I'm just going to roll that up and put that back in the um, freezer. I can ground that up and make like little taco cups or cheeseburger cups or something or whatever so i don't need much like i said it's just me so i don't need all of it so if you're making this recipe for a larger family you can go ahead and use a whole one pound of ground beef and two bags of cauliflower rice i only use one so i'm seasoning up my meat with some complete seasoning black pepper some garlic powder i'm using my taco seasoning and i have my crushed red pepper i added crushed red pepper to it this time um around because I wanted to try it like with a little kick. I don't know. I've been having a taste for something a little spicy, but not too much. So I added red pepper flakes. That is optional. You do not have to. You don't even really have to add any seasonings other than taco seasonings if you like. So now what we're doing now is draining out the grease. And I just wanted to show y'all my little method of draining out the grease. You never want to pour that grease down the drain. It'll clog up your drains and mess up your drains. So what I do is take two of these um, plastic grocery bags and I drain my meat into that. Now I'm adding in a half a can of Rotel, which is diced tomatoes and green chilies. This is the cheaper Walmart brand. It does the same thing. If you're making this recipe for a full household, just go ahead and use the whole can. And then take, um, I'm only using like a fourth cup or quarter piece of cream cheese in here to add a creamy element to it. Um, 
I didn't see them add cream cheese to this on the recipe on TikTok, but I was like, hey, why not try it? So I added like a fourth piece of cream cheese into my mixture. If you're cooking for a large family, go ahead and add a half a block. You don't even need the whole block because cream cheese does stretch a long way. It gets nice and creamy. So what I'm going to do here is start breaking up the meat and into the cream cheese to get it nice and melted. And you're going to just stir that around for a few moments to get it nice and incorporated. I noticed that it was a little bit thick. So I did want to go ahead and loosen it up a little. All right. So I'm back. I had to go grab the beef broth. So what I wanted to do was loosen this up a little bit with some beef broth and add a little bit of the taco seasoning back. Now I know it didn't look like I added much there, but I did add some off camera. I just wanted to add a little bit more seasoning back because I did drain all of the grease and it did take away some of the seasoning. That spatula wasn't working for me guys. So I had to get me a little spoon so that I can smooth out some of those um, clumps of cream cheese. Now what I'm going to do is just start layering over the cauliflower rice, the ground beef mixture with the tomatoes and the cream cheese. And then you want to spread it out thin, get everything layered nice and evenly like this. Guys, it smells so freaking good in here. And then after that, you want to go ahead and grab your cheese of choice. I got shredded Kobe Jack. I'm going to go ahead and just layer uh, about a half a cup of shredded Kobe Jack over the top of this. And then, like I say, guys, if you're making a full pan for a full family, go ahead and use like a whole cup of cheese on top and pop that baby in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes until your cheese is nice and bubbly and golden brown. And then it should come out looking nice and tasty like this. Voila. See, oops, sorry, guys. The light was on that a little bad. I was trying to get a good angle of it. But after it comes out the oven, you're just going to take some freshly chopped cilantro sprinkle that over the top get it all over the place i'm telling you that cilantro bite does a difference like it's so good then i'm gonna take a little piece of lemon and squeeze some fresh lemon juice over the top like that and then here you go um taco casserole keto friendly casserole low carb casserole however you want to call it guys i'm gonna go ahead and plate me up a piece it looks so freaking good. So you just cut you out a nice little square. Put that on top. And then you can top this with... Oh, and I forgot. I forgot. Just know I'm going to eat my leftovers with guacamole because I forgot. But you can top, um, top it with guacamole, sour cream. I'm using some of this spicy ranch or chipotle ranch. So freaking good. Let me know down in the comments if you guys like this recipe. And give me some more keto recipe ideas. Okay, guys. So that was the recipe for this Mexican taco bake keto friendly bake. It looks so good. And I'm not going to do a whole mukbang on it or whatever. Because I would have to eat that whole pan and sit in front of y'all and talk with y'all. Anyways, but I do want to try it on camera. And see how it goes. It's still hot. See how it tastes. You see the cauliflower in there looking like some white rice. I'm excited. Mm. You guys, I can't even taste the cauliflower. And I think it's because I, I put some seasoning on it beforehand. But this is good. Mmm. This right here is going to help me get over these cravings. I'm glad I'm able to use these ingredients on my diet and still eat something that's very flavorful, very tasty. It's giving Mexican around here. It's giving Chipotle. It's giving Qdoba. It's giving all the good things that you want to eat in life. But you can eat it low carb with cauliflower rice and um, using a low... Um, low carb tomatoes but this is good mm, mm, get out of here but i hope you guys like like and share this video with everybody until next time bye i actually want to get a quick thumbnail y'all see that cheese food mm, no we'll see 
Bye. Pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get to stay. Cause I got it like that. Always in my own bag. Never needed no man to rely on. Got two good shoulders to cry.